which everything comes into a main system. You extract what you need and then you produce it. I was literally the writer, the producer, and then the broadcaster all at once. And the weather part is probably the only thing, and, and the great thing about my job is no one can come over and go, I don't agree with what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas a producer goes, was it 10% or 15%? Because I heard on Channel 5 that it was 10%. No one's going to come over to you and go, I don't see 70 tomorrow. I, th I see 68 or 69. <laughs> they, they, they go, OK, well, sure, whatever. <laughs> so that was the great thing about being a meteorologist on TV is you did everything yourself. And that's the way it's going out. I had a one-year-old kid, and they wanted me to come in and do one show on Saturday. And I left there going, yes, I'll do it. When I got home, I told my wife, they want me to do Saturday. She's like, how are you going to do that? I go, we'll make it work. For a whole year, I worked shift work, splitting between days, afternoons, midnights. There were times that I actually worked 3 to 10 at Fox, and then went in and worked the midnight shift at United from 11 to 7. Oh, wow. Two straight eight-hour shifts. Yeah, that was not easy to do. But I did it, and I made it work. Now, could I do it now? Probably not. I mean, your body runs down a little bit at 50 as opposed to at age 27. Um, but the bottom line is you do what you have to do to make the end result work. And you don't think about the consequences. Okay, you really don't. Not when you get not when you get a gift job like that. Okay? So here I am, third largest market in the city, third largest market in the country. Okay, but the number five station in the city. Okay. I'll tell you this right off the bat, and I truly mean this. Channel seven, channel five, channel two, WGN would have never hired me. I'll be honest with you, I, they would have never hired me. I was able to work at Fox because it was Fox, okay? News station, they were just giving everybody a shot. But you grab that shot and you make the best of it. And I got in front of the chroma key and I was terrible. I was, I was, and Deborah, the news director, goes, Rick, you can, you can move your feet, because my, my feet were like concrete. I, I was just doing this. I was pointing, and then she goes, now you can, you can turn, because what was happening was I was halfway in front of the chroma key, and I, I, I wanted to do something like that, where, where now you just kind of go like, like this, you know, and then you start to talk like that. But I had no idea how to dance. Doing weather in front of a chroma key is extremely difficult because what's behind you? Nothing, right, just the green screen. And I went, what are all these people doing here? And the guy walking me around, I forget who it was, he said, well, those are writers, those are producers, those are assistant producers, those are editors, and those are the camera people. I'm like, all that for a newscast it goes, oh yeah, it takes a lot to do it. When I went over to my weather desk, there was me. Forecaster, graphics, looking at the maps, make up the show. Ask Bill, if you even go into the sports department, sports guy, assistant producer, editor, writer, boom, boom. There's so many people doing all those jobs. But I still do work at Channel 2 because I want to keep my foot in the puddle, so to say. And to this day, you never know. You never know when they come back and say, you know what? We're building a whole new show. We want you to come back. And who knows, in five years, I may say, you know, I've had enough of teaching. I'm ready to do that again. Because you never know. So the bottom line is, if you get anything from my story here, diversify yourself. Mm -hmm. Never work just one job. <laughs> Never, never. Say yes to everything. <laughs> Except to the intern down the hall is going like that. Okay? <laughs> Say yes to everything. <laughs> Say yes to everything. Seriously. Think 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 about why are all the guys going like this? <laughs> Say yes to everything. Think about the consequences later. Don't even worry about the money now. And, and think about what it'll do for you from a standpoint of going, you know what, this may lead to something else.
You want to stay here as much as you can to try to still keep your feet, because there's so many opportunities. Every once in a while, you'll hear me on Ro Khan's show in the afternoon. I do radio with him probably once a month, because he loves airplanes, and we kind of met at a golf tournament once, and we just started talking, and one day he called me up and says, how would you like to come on here, blah, blah, blah. So I, I do that with him as well. And you know what? It's just one of those things where when you're in a market like this, it's, it's, it's tough to really leave. It really is. And as I, as I finish up here, if there's one thing you can get away from this school before you leave, do a couple of weather segments. Seriously, you're going, why would I do that? I don't do the weather. Because studies have shown that people who do the weather, you, no, 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 I, I know what you were saying there, but, but people who do the weather actually are the best at doing ad lib live shots. Why? Because everything they do is ad lib. Yeah. Okay. Everything you do is ad lib, and you do, you don't you don't look at a prompter with stuff there. If you ever look at a newscaster and mess up because the the script is at that level. Now, granted, they can do it live out on the street, but they're so not used to it because they're relying on scripts. And plus, they have to lead, read a lot of scripts. I'm not taking that away from them. But when I do my weather, I have a two times rule. Okay, and I always go through my stuff twice before I go on the air. And I never memorize what I'm going to say. I always have a jumping off point. What am I going to go from? What am I going to go from? What am I going to go, go from? And when you see people, when you see weather people do these live hits outside, they're so much more smooth because the reporters always have to kind of package everything and they have to hit the roll cue, right. which the director then goes, bump, go to the tape. Okay. Whereas in the weather, they're just they're just talking, and hopefully it makes sense. And they have to give us the roll cue. If you're working mm. as an AD, that's one of the things you're going to ask somebody on the field. Okay, what's your roll cue? Mm. Right. What that means is it's the three words leading into right. roll the tape or the video, whatever. But right. the point is, and Mayor Daly said this at the press conference right. today. So Boom! They, that's so the roll they cue. They can't divert from that line. Right. We're going to go. Right. They're going. Okay. Where was it? Or was it? Yeah. You know? And then sometimes the reporter will get pissed off where they said it, but they didn't say the right words. And they go, as I mentioned, Mayor Daly said this, right. you know. Yeah. And then the people in the studio are like, you didn't say it. <laughs> you got to say it. You got to say it the way you, you got to say it. And you're supposed to, as mm -hmm. you write it down exactly the way they give it to you. Right. So you know what those three words are. That's your role cue. Um, the other thing that um, I, mm -hmm. I probably should note to you, too, is, what, uh, is that, is that the stations now have gone to, whether it's a raw system uh, or whether it's a, uh, there's another system too, I can't think of the name right now, but the, these are automation systems. So the people who learn those systems, you know, because I, I, I was at a Directors Guild meeting just last week, the people who learn those systems, they're like guaranteed that they're going to be there because of the fact that they know all this technology. Right, and there's some of the people who are just strictly directors, right. and we're not going to mention names, but I know you and I both know these people who are no longer doing that higher level in technology because it was like trying to teach an old dog new tricks and they were very resistant to that.